fantastic. Once all the cats and kittens are inside, Alec closes the door. Sitting back up and take your opposite leg out, lift up the opposite arm and shut the door behind the kittens and cats. Well done. Good job. Alec and his family then head out over the fields. Standing up, let's take four big steps. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. On the way, up in your nose, Alec can smell some delicious food. He heads to a food truck and orders a burger and watches them make it. Come to sitting on your bottom with your legs out straight in front of you. There's the bottom of the bun. Take your arms out wide. Look over one shoulder as they get the burger and they pop it onto the burger bun. <coughs> Take your arms out wide again. Looking over that other shoulder and they get some lettuce. And they rip it up over the burger. Rip, 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 rip. Taking your arms out wide again. Looking over that first shoulder as they get some tomatoes and chop them up over the burger. Chop, 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 chop. And finally, arms out wide again. Look over that last shoulder and they get some burger sauce. <laughs> Squeeze it on. <laughs> Fantastic. Then taking your arms up above your head and bending forward to touch your toes, bending your knees if you need to, as they pop the burger bun on the top. Fantastic, then sitting with your legs out wide in front of you. Alec picks up the burger and takes a big bite. Oh, it's delicious. Eats it all. Mm, crossing your legs, rub your tummy with one hand and pat your head with the other. What a delicious burger. Mm. Swapping over your hand, rubbing, rubbing your tummy with the other hand and patting your head with the other hand. Now Alec is got a full tummy and he's ready to enjoy the lunch. Alec looks around, take out your super spectacles. Wow, there are some amazing rides here as well as delicious foods. Alec decides to go on the ferris wheel with his dad. He sits on the ferris wheel under sitting on your knees, taking your arms out wide and sitting up. Then the ferris wheel spins and spins and spins and spins up and over. From the top, Alec can see all the fields and all the farms around them. Then Alec plays a game called Hook a Duck. Come to stand with your feet together and take one step forward with one of your feet. And then we're going to take our arms up. They're both out straight at the same level. And then using our front arm, bending our front knee, we're going to try and hook the duck. Oh, no prize on that one. Dropping your hands down. After three, we're going to jump and swap our legs. We're facing the other way. One, two, three, jump. That's it. Bringing those arms up again. And then bending that front knee and holding that hook. With the front hand, Alec gets a duck. And on the bottom, keeping your legs wide, take your arms wide. On the bottom is a big star, which means Alec wins a prize. He wins a great big teddy. Bring your feet together, take your arms out wide and wrap yourselves up in a big hug. Because Alec gives his teddy a huge hug. Well done. Next, it's time to go and see the fireworks. Alec heads over to the bonfire, coming onto your hands and knees, tucking under your toes and lifting your bottom to the sky to show that tall bonfire. On the top of the bonfire is a model of a person standing with your feet together, taking your arms out either side of you. The little person looks just like a scarecrow. This is what you call the guy. The guy sits on the top of the bonfire at bonfire night. Alec looks at the bonfire. Come to sitting on your bottom with your legs crossed. 
and then bending forward, leaning on your elbows and wiggle your fingers up towards the sky. Alec looks at the flames. They are burning orange, yellow and red. Alec goes and finds a space near the firework area. He runs towards the firework but his dad shouts stop! His dad pulls Alec back to where he is standing and explains, standing with your feet together, bending forward and stretch your arms forward. He explains that when you're watching fireworks, you must stand back to keep you safe. All of a sudden, a man rushes over. He crouches down to light the fireworks and then stands back. First, Alec sees some small rockets. Sit on your bottom with your legs crossed. Shooting into the sky, lifting one arm at a time to show the small rockets shooting to the sky. Next, you see some Catherine wheels standing with our legs wide and our arms wide and spin like a Catherine wheel spins. Finally, Alex sees some big rockets. Arms are crouching on your tiptoes, and after three, we're going to jump in the air with a big, loud bang like a loud rocket. One, two, three, bang! And again, one, two, three, bang! One more time, one, two, three, bang! Well done! After watching the fireworks, Alex's mum lights some sparklers. Bring your two bottoms across your legs. She explains to Alec that his gloves must be untight from in the back of your hands to make sure those gloves are on properly. And you must keep the sparkler away from his face or in your face. Well done. Then sit on your bottom with your knees up in front of you. Alec gets given his first sparkler, holding one leg and lifting it up straight. Pointing your toe to show the flame of the sparkler. He lifts it up. Down, moving it side to side, round and round and round, until the sparkler burns out, putting that foot back. His mum gives him one more, straightening out your other leg. Alec decides to use this one to write his name. Can you write yours? Did you make it before the sparkler burnt out? Well done. Once he's finished with the sparkler, Alec has a big stretch. Oh, cross his legs and his arms stretch this guy. And a big oh. Alex's mummy takes him back to the farmhouse, standing with your feet apart and your hands to your heart, head above your head, into a house phone. Then he opens the door, sitting down. Onto your knees, sitting up and taking one leg out with your opposite arm in the air and opening the door. Well done. And then bringing that leg back. Then placing your other leg out and lifting your opposite arm and closing the door behind you. Then he tiptoes up the stairs. Lying your backs and your legs out straight, arms by your sides. What an evening. Alec has had so much fun and learnt so much about bonfire and eye safety. Making sure no animals are inside the bonfire. Keeping pets inside away from the bank. Standing back from the fireworks. And also wearing gloves and keeping sparklers away from your face as you hold them. You can't wait to use these rules again next year on Bonfire Night. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Now we go your fingers, wiggle your toes. Lift up your knees and give them a hug. And roll onto your sides. 
and push yourself up onto your bottom with your legs crossed, bringing your hands to your heart. And after three, we'll say our yoga goodbye, Namaste. One, two, three. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for Father Joe's stories today. See you again soon. Bye.